Anyways, Ben. Scout HQ for creativity. You identify bears and deer, and you start after identifying more specific tracks. Sculptor? Half human, half sculptor, and you follow the tracks till you find the legendary beast. <coughs> Blessed upon you, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. You meet Aravi and Hex afterwards for some yoga, and are shocked to discover that it's actually yoga. Namaste, then. <coughs> Fuck. Bless you. But you know what involves breathing. Now she's super into it. She's gonna get so fucking relaxed, her head's gonna explode. Holy shit, it's our boys. <laughs> Someone said sausages. Yeah. Oh, that is these are sausages. Oh, yeah, that's a wearable. Um, those are characters from the first game. They're not in this game normally, but I guess they can show up in events. Hey, I like the Ghost Girls. Oh, so it's like Borderlands 2 to yeah. Borderlands 1. Ghost Girls the bad one. Oh, it's okay, no, Scott. That's what I went after last time. They, someone will have said sausages, and then they'll be sorry. <laughs> Thanks. So just, what are you doing? I'm doing yoga. Found a pose that's perfect for you. It's called Upward Facing Dog. <clears throat> Yow. Then an up dog, and it's evil twin downward facing dog for yoga masters. With an S. All this time, so we're so relaxed all this time. The no other baby, reason. Yeah, we discovered yoga a while back and found it kind of underwhelming, but we stuck with it and made it better. And now we can proudly say we're the best yogists in the world. Polly, I think it's yoga zoids. Guys, you're not the yoga experts. You're right, because we're yoga masters. Duh. No one's ever going to beat our yoga high score. High score, you say? Oh, fuck. <laughs> 200,000 yoga points in a single session. It's unbeatable. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Just need the right strategy. But what is it? Oh. What strategy does she need, Ben? Let's see. Let's carry yoga armor. What is that? I don't know. But you could also give her the... Uh, up dog, up dog, down dog, down dog, left dog, right dog, left dog, right dog, B dog, A dog, oh, start. Oh no, the, not code. the Namco. Why did they not call it start dog? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> True. Pathetic. That one doesn't seem right, though. I mean, it's literally just whichever one fits your stats. They're, both answers have a correct... I know, say. but like, I think that bottom one sounds like fun, which I don't have at all. The top one doesn't sound like fun so the top one <laughs> yes the people bold wow you oh. didn't get it with a seven i'm dead I've, I've lost the game at this point there's no way i can come back but um legendary yoga armor i, had no I idea thought it was bold existed. too yeah yeah no it doesn't you didn't think it's through at all just run back to your tent grab some regular armor and spray paint yoga on all the pieces good she can feel the power flowing through me as she puts on the legendary armor that's spiders, actually, because it's old and you found it on a skeleton. Time to yoga the fuck out of this high school. Let's friggin' go. Turns out that suit of rusty plate armor is not good for breathing, flexibility, or chilling the fuck out. And she's soon sweaty, rusty heap on the ground. She gave it her all then. <laughs> Which is kind of sucks, because she's nowhere near 200,000 fucking yoga points. And not even like a fun number, like 420 or 69. <laughs> She got eight. <laughs> but it's winning's not what's important. It's about relaxing. And also laughing at her for losing. Come on, Scott. Little bitch. Let's laugh at Aravabi while we exit the scene. Goodbye, friends. I love you. Please be safe. Farewell. <laughs> How much do you have failed? I, I get lazy, but then also sometimes it's very funny and I won't do it. But... I agree. It should be impression. Uh, which one, Hex or Avabi? You're just right now. Whichever one oh, wants to step on uh, me more. <laughs> wait, you actually thought that was yoga armor? I thought that was like Dragon Ball Z train under garbage conditions to increase your power level situation. It's regular armor made out of metal. <laughs> Actually.
actually, I think the breastplate might be a trash gimlet. What? Then, how could you betray me like this? I'll kill you for this, but it seems I have suffered a lot of spider bites, and now I'm kind of sleepy. But I owe you one for murdering me as soon as I wake up. You're dumb bullshit. Better hope Arabi forgets about that murder debt while she's sleeping. You lose two boldness and one charm. Let's go Brett, take a nap. Let's go somewhere. Uh, we can use a bump and charm. You're an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Very good. Is that where the charm is? Uh. Let's go there. <clears throat> that day at Camp Dome, you do all the thumb wars. That means the campers are waging war against the Thumb Warriors, the supernatural buff thumb monsters from Camp Thumb. It's surprisingly <laughs> terrifying. You are sure when to lose, but thanks movie. to your quick thinking. It's like it's movie. <laughs> you hatch a plan to fight the, the Thumb Warriors with their greatest high, weakness, huh? predators without opposable thumbs. Some may say that your team sinking a pack of rabid mountain lions on the competitors is cheating, but you prefer the term strategic, and you gain two charm. With the help of Milo and Calculester, you managed to find the least violent dome game that Dahlia will still enjoy, an Iron Chef competition. Milo delights in concocting Epicurean delicacies, and Calculester is fascinated by the concept of food. Dahlia loves doing battle against the Iron Chef's thousand knife-building arms. What a delight. I've never had so much fun in my short artificial life. What? Having fun? Stop that. Put it back. Did you pay for that fun? Pay for it, but fun is free, just like love and literally anything else. As long as I agree to demo on my Instagram, free, free. I didn't know this was summer camp for communists. <laughs> Nothing's free, you fucking millennials. This dome is an untapped gold mine, and I'm here to trap it, cap it. Fuck. That's why I purchased a controlling interest in the camp dome so I can monetize this pile of sharp objects. Maybe I'll tattoo advertisements on the inside of everyone's eyelids. Ooh! We require everyone who participates in dome games to purchase life insurance. And to prevent insurance fraud, all claims have to be filed by the deceased. In person! <laughs> I don't... I think... Oh dear. I fear those predatory money-making schemes will somehow make the dome even less safe than it is already. <laughs> you can't monetize the dome. Commerce is only valid when it's coated in a thin veneer of spirituality and lifestyle porn. <laughs> I could fight in this discussion because I'm still fighting this knife robot, but I'm mad too. Well, unless your kids could come up with some non-predatory ways of monetizing this dome. <laughs> it's life insurance and eye bath tattoos for everyone. Oh no, that sounds painful and boring. Your least favorite combination of things. But how do you monetize an arena in a non-shitty way, Brett? Well, you could always get a local sponsorship. Local sponsorships are the free-range cattle of capitalism. It's crazy enough to work. Or not, based on your steps. What's the perfect business partnership to propose? <laughs> Old Dortrude's organ Gotta be creative. <laughs> or Beanie and Bucket's fancy hat extravaganza. I like that one. Oh, I, I like beanies. I like old Gertrude's organ trafficking boutique. Yeah, I like... I like the Underground Railroad of organs. Dahlia will That's fucking crazy. fuck all of them. <laughs> she can step on me. Told you. Go we'll to go Horny Jail! We'll go I'll to the right, right man. <laughs> <You will. laughs> no, no, no. no, Ben predicted earlier that Chris will say she can step on him. Well, Brett? Alright, old Gertrude's. Sticking Ooh, you're what? not bold enough. That's boldness. <laughs> Some bullshit. Old Gertrude's still running that boutique? Well, she was harvesting kid disease from mm. drifters back when I was a boy. So heartwarming to see a member of the greatest generation still stealing and reselling people's hearts after all these years. <laughs> Encouraged by the CEO's enthusiasm, you call up Gertrude's organ boutique to make your pitch. And the old woman answers the phone, and you excitedly promise her all the loose organs that come out of the dome in exchange for a sponsorship. There's a lot. It's a pretty dangerous place. And Gertrude sounds delighted. That's great news. Quality organs are so hard to come by these days. 
come on over. We'll work out all the details. If you head over to Gertrude's quaint little organ shop in the old quarter of the nearby town. Does she steal Once a kidney? Once the contract is signed, you settle down for a cup of tea. So, hmm. what kind of organs are we talking here? I'm partial to Wurlitzers myself, but I'll take a nice church organ any day. <laughs> Hold on. Brett, did you rely on autocorrect too much again? This is the old. This is the wrong old Gertrude's organ trafficking boutique. Old Gertrude. I'm young Gertrude. How dare you? That ancient old hag has been stealing my business for decades. But if old Gertrude actually sells internal organs, how could she be stealing business from a musical organ establishment? You clearly don't know anything about the organ business, Sonny. How old are you? Three years old, technically, but no butts, you infant. I won't be toyed with. Hey. People aren't yelling. What does it mean we're doing? Violets? Finally, something I can help with. No, you're not doing violets. You're getting me those organs I asked for. You have to build them yourselves. You signed a contract, and I paid in advance. Ugh. She's right. Those demon. I know all about contracts. This one's airtight. Great job, Brett. Ellie was right before fuck. spent the next several days working yourself half to death to manufacture and tune several we're hundred pristine pipe first organs. Run. Oh yeah, but when you deliver them, what the hell are these? I don't want this metal bullshit. We only sell organic organs here? These parts aren't filled with any intestines at all. <laughs> Holy fuck. Damn. Yeah, you try minus four fun and minus two smart. That's six total. Fuck, Last game. Time to this game's not messing around. Uh-oh. -uh. Fuck, um, where did everybody go? First Fuck it, I'll go to the manor again. Damn. She thinks! Search in the hut, man, you come across an enchanted she doll that thinks. promises to grant all your wishes, Tape. Hell yeah. Cool, you take it. And it possesses you, of course. Turns out the spirit that inside it was exactly like you in every way, so no one notices the difference. Hell yeah. Except it's a little bolder than you. So you basically gain two boldness. I am not smart, though. <laughs> Pretty sure you're Does smarter she than care? Yeah, you're smarter than Brett, and you're smarter than me right now. What is this? No, it's she not. grabs me to. Yo, she about to oh, fucking snoo snoo me. Best summer ever! Pretty? Critique my rock skipping technique. She skips a rock straight upwards, it disappears into space. Moments later, you notice a faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's Rock, or the satellite Di Dahlia's Rock destroyed. It's a meteor. It crashes into the woods onto the far side of the lake, turning them into a giant bonfire. Yes, ultimate campfire. Quick, tell me some campfire stories, very loudly. I'm about to tell her one about the horny summer campers who finally boinked when you're distracted by a glowing figure approaching you across the lake. It is I, Kalor, Herald of Summer. <gasps> Can you critique my rock skipping technique? Your passion for achieving the sum ideal summer has moved me. I have a quest for you. I've grown weak as of late due to lack of worship. The heralds of other seasons mock me and drain my power. I need you to destroy. I will do it, noble hot man. I was going to say talk to them and ask them to stop being such jerks, but honestly, that sounds great if you're up for it. The first herald you must defeat is Vern, Herald of Spring. He's in Florida. Good luck. <laughs> Blood! Blood! <laughs> it turns out she traveling to Florida is easy. You just mix a can of Bud Light with cough syrup and you're there. How? What's up, bros? said Vern, while shot getting a hard seltzer and thinking about boobs. Here to defeat me on behalf of that nerd cowler? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes, also to get tan. A good tan is critique is critical for the best summer ever. <laughs> says Vern doing three keg sands at once. The great by the grace of his divine mag might suck my Easter eggs, losers. No one can defeat me. I'm gonna live forever. Spring break. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, but you'll just see about that. It happens that you know the perfect technique for defeating the Herald of Spring. <sighs> Allergies. Everyone knows. 
No, no way. A little pollen is enough to destroy the mighty spring. <laughs> so how about a lot of pollen? This 50 pound bag of pollen I carry on for exercise slash sex reasons. What? <laughs> I only eat microwave burritos and pussy. That's a tremendous sneak. And this. Norma's bag of shrimp and peanuts and starts stuffing them down Vern's throat. Shrimp and peanuts don't have anything to do with spring. Spring shrimp. Hell yeah. My dream gal. Turns out he's extremely allergic to shrimp. Maybe it's the peanuts, or the bees, or the gallon jug of black fluid named Vern poison. Whatever the cause, Vern fucking dies like a loser, and you dance on his summer shades. Dabbed. Summer is victorious. <laughs> and she has a few shrimp left over. You wanna have a shrimp party tape? Hell yeah. Gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. I hope I choose correctly. I think. Uh, I think out of I'm everyone, flushed. I think I'm the only one that's gonna be fine. <laughs> The thing is, I gave you points, too. I know, I'm sorry, dude. I guess I need to have something I can use here. So we're gonna go for fun and get six, but I don't think that's enough. I think I literally fail no matter what test I get. So I think I'm fucked here. Holy shit, what? I at least rolling right besides your number one summer crush. So you're blowing up. Granted, my this one is always blowing up, but right now it's worse than usual. It's just work text. I keep telling the head office not to contact me when I'm taking this vacation, but I suppose his reaping is urgent. Text. Oh my god. Oh, it's not review because you don't know yet. I shouldn't tell you. Cool, it's proprietary information, but it's got a gig for next week to collect your soul. What's gonna reap your soul? That <laughs> sounds terrifying and also a little hot. Means I'm gonna die next week. Yep, totally gonna die. Life, death, and fate are weird and messy. And it's hard to say 100% because of quantum nonsense, but if I'm getting the gig, then yeah, you're gonna die. Congrats. I'm starting to freak out. No, don't freak out. I'm an expert, and I promise you, it's not as scary as it seems. Death reminds us of the profound, infinite beauty of life. <laughs> and it's not like you're immortal or anything. Sorry to burst your bubble, but death is gonna find you eventually, boo. TBQ. What is the QH? Quite. Why? To be quite honest, yeah. I, I get it, but why? Because people. Future letting you know ahead of time. It's my gift to you the opportunity to go out with a bang. Ooh. I think this is the last week of your life, the best week of your life. Spend every moment together and we'll end with a huge party, a celebration of Oz. All we could follow? Sounds like heaven, and it's exciting enough to distract you from your imminent death. You're in. What if it was all a lie and just massive manipulation? I mean, if you end up with Milo, that was the goal, right? We, we did it. Maybe. You're gonna get so many posthumous followers. I'm almost jealous. Oh, and we should start considering the party aesthetic right away. We need some big, memorable main event at the party, something that'll honor your true essence, Oz. Obviously, it should be Snapchat friendly. Any ideas? Perfect way to entertain your party guests, two can commemorate your entire existence, and three impress Milo, which is the only one that actually fucking matters. Because we're all horny here. Um, <laughs> I wonder how it's gonna go. That's for creativity. It. That's, That's fun. fun. Yeah. Fun's my best stat. Do it. That's charm. Yikes. Fucked. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. Oof. Yeah, I'm dying next week. They all seem pretty fine with it. <laughs> they deliver a toast for you at the party, and no matter what, you'll tell them that these speeches should come from the heart. Welcome to the rehearsal for Oz's elegant <clears throat> end of life blowout bash. Let's proceed with heartfelt eulogies. <clears throat> Organic beings experience death. The news of his impending death has caused me mild sadness. Bye, fellow camper. <laughs> Make love to an oak tree to pollinate a forest. It was an unsuccessful attempt, but he would do it again. Cheers. Austin Irwin, once they're dead. Not by me, though. I'm going to be fine. I'm tough as shit. <laughs> I'm sure some people miss him. There's gotta be at least, like, one person. Anyways, pour uh, one out. Um, uh... Why are you still here? I guess we're Oz for being super horny all the time. Other than that, um... 
I guess it's good at choosing between two sets of options. Here's the UAS. Yeah, oof. Those toasts were awful, and the party's gonna be an absolute train wreck. I can't be associated with Brainwise. You understand. I call in a few favors and reschedule your debt. That'd be completely annoying, but it's better than risking being seen with you. Oof. All right, done. Death is canceled, and so is the party. Enjoy taking each day for granted, I suppose. Never trust your friends to be there for you. I lose three k. Oh, okay. I'm fucked. Oh, my stats. <laughs> the thing is, the challenges get harder as the game goes on. But if you keep failing, your stats keep dropping, and so it becomes impossible after a point. It makes me mad. Choose a celebrity. Peter Dinklage. Chris Hemsworth. We just went over this earlier. Ryan Reynolds. Brett. Yep. Ryan Reynolds. Um. Peter Dinklage, Chris Hemsworth, Danny DeVito. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's a good one. Oh, most want to open a bed and breakfast with in the middle of the woods. Fucking Danny DeVito and Ryan okay. Reynolds. Are Tucker, fun. you have to choose. And you have to order them first to Wh last. Which, yeah. Oh, I th okay. So what was it? It was Peter Dinklage, Danny DeVito, Chris Reynolds. Hemsworth. Okay. And Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Okay, so I'm gonna start from fourth. I wanna put Peter at fourth. Oof. Oof. Uh, wait, yeah. okay. Okay, so what's first? Uh, first is gonna be Chris. Chris Hemsworth? Very yes. nice. Yes. Uh, second, easily gonna be, uh, Danny. Okay, Good job, Brett. Third will so be Reynolds. Would... Sorry, Ben. It's okay, I understand. This is my boy. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Danny DeVito beat Peter Dinklage. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> I mean, Peter's great, but he's no Danny. Like, if you're going to choose one short guy, it's got to be Danny. <laughs> Why not choose a short guy with a magnum dong? That's why I chose Danny.